What's going on? This is Shang. This is Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Lab Factory. We are uh, getting this started. Going to talk about some of the things we always do. Thank you for all the people that have been supporting us over all this time. What's up, Sulu? What's up, y'all? Um, thank you for all the support you've been doing. I'm going to post uh, where you can actually uh, check us out um, on the podcast. I made the podcast version and make sure you follow us on the podcast and also on the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is um, up now. Thank you guys. Um, I saw Pedro. Wait, where's he at? Yeah, I saw Pedro came in. Boom. I get some shit and uh, get it off our chest. Get some shit off our chest about this situation. Look at my hands. Look at what's going on with my hands. As a grown man, you, you ain't supposed to do this. Yeah, there hey. he is. Hey, hey. see this? I was saying, tell him if as a grown man, never do this. Yeah, never do this. That's not a good look. No, yeah, no, don't no, ever no. just be like, if you get upset about something, or even if you are frustrated, don't ever go, what? Mm -hmm. Don't ever, yeah, don't do that. Or don't put your hands like this. That's just, a, unless you block and something. Now this, yeah, block like that, but don't. Yeah. That. No, that, that's, uh, Savage that's AF, you know what I'm saying? You can check us out on all the different platforms, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio. I'm doing the karate hand, so you know how serious it is for you to subscribe. Because karate hands, yeah. And then Pedro's going to let you know where else you can follow while I pin this on the page. Pin it on the page. Just pin yeah. it on the page now. All right, so yeah. uh, if, you, if you miss us here on IG... All right. You're let's, going uh, in and out. You went in yeah, and out. Let, let's try that again. So, um, <clears throat> uh, if you miss us here on IG Live, Monday through Friday, uh, Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m., Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can catch the audio wherever you get your podcast. That's on all platforms, including Spotify. <laughs> right. Uh, but you can right, also catch right, us right. on You can also catch us uh, the video. If you want to see it go down when it went down because you missed it, um, that's on YouTube, Savage AF Podcast. Look that up on YouTube. That's where we'll be. I see all our family in the building. Look, Lola Lipsy in the building. Okay, okay. I see the family came out. All right. Must, must be a special day. Uh, AJ Fit is in here. Kimmy, Steve, too. I see you. Uh, SRNC, we see ya. What's going on, y'all? Um, Yoshiko White as well. So uh, those are the ways you can catch us, guys, on wherever you get your uh, podcast and, and on YouTube, Savage AF, Savage AF Podcast. Look it up. That's how it is. Right. Um, and also, I got a new thing I want us to do is I know we say oh, wait, fuck you. I, I, I don't think you pinned it. Pin that comment. I didn't pin it. Uh, okay. Wait. I'll pin it. I shall pin it. I, it, it, it shall be pinned. And so and it so shall it be is pinned. pinned. It shall be pinned. And don't do this, please. So never ever do been. this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Um, I, I, I know we say that our thing is hashtag fuck your feelings. It is. But I think it's, we got to add this in there. Hashtag fuck your feelings. Facts matter. You know? They it's do. not just fuck your feelings. because Everybody has feelings. Yeah. But it should be fuck what you feeling. Let's go with what is the fact of the situation, not what you feeling, because I feel I like ice cream on my nipples. I shouldn't do that when I'm in the store. That's or, that's what I feel, though. Yeah. The fact you, is, I'll probably get arrested if I just start rubbing ice cream on my nipples. So don't gotta, do that. You got to buy and that. By ice the way, cream. I don't like ice cream on nipples. I just made that up. There is no I, I don't have an ice cream on my nipples agenda. Right. I, I hope nobody does. OK, guys. <laughs> Savage AF, y'all. Um, you know how we do, man. Fuck your feelings. Facts matter. Uh, let's get into this show today. It is October 19th, 2020. I got some wine and I'm rolling up weed, y'all. This is the daily <laughs> run up. Uh, Wait a minute. You said I got some wine and some weed. Uh, I'm rolling and up. This is how I'm started off. I'm, I'm rolling up some nugs right now. Y'all see me? All right, sorry. But we multitask here on the show. Very talented. Now, hey, as it should be. Um, we're going to end today's show talking, uh, I break your face, huh? Book. I break your face, book. <laughs> uh, we got GOP Senator now, uh, throwing out the idea of ending Facebook, just deading it. 
Sounds like your boy Black Pedro. Um, but before, yeah, before, but you know what? I, 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 we gonna talk okay, about it. We gonna talk about it. But I, I'm end, on the fence with end, that. I got some other feelings. Show. And up though, but actually, practic practicality, because I probably wouldn't reach as many fans without we gonna, Facebook. We gonna, so. we gonna talk about it at the end. Though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna hold the drink with both hands like Trump. Yeah, man. <laughs> shot I can't clock. drink without both my hands, bitches. Shot, shot clock violation. Um, Nancy Pelosi has set a deadline. The clock is ticking. She actually did it yesterday, but we basically 24 hours before she says we will be able to, they'll be able to pass stimulus for America. We're going to talk about that. Um, but before we talk about that, <laughs> we're going to start off today's show, Savage AF, October 19, 2020, with your boy Dumpty dumping on Fauci, man. I mean, he just... Dumping hard on Fauci. All day shitting on Dr. Fauci. And you know what? At this point... I know, I'm pretty sure Dr. Fauci took a Hippocratic oath or some shit like that. I don't know. The man got morals. He got heart. He's a good dude. Dr. Fauci, it is time for a laying of the hands. The next time you are in the room with Donald Trump, you run up on that motherfucker <laughs> and you hit that nigga straight in his fucking nose. That would be hilarious. All of a sudden, you, you see Fauci, uh, Trump talking. All of a sudden, you see Fauci go, yeah, what, what's up yeah. with that motherfucker? You, yeah, yeah, you see that? Brother, you didn't brother, see that coming, did you? Brother, you didn't see that coming. You didn't see those hands coming, did you, Trump? Can't block it with your little tiny T-Rex hands, can you? Can what you? up, though? Rip all the real ones. What up, though? Uh, no, yeah, no. This is one of those where you just can't be letting men talk to you or talk about you. Like, like man to man, it's time to either lay hands or just completely sever your relationship with this motherfucker. But what I want is Dr. Fauci just come up, boop, right in the nose. Like, I want Trump to just see, oh, are those knuckles? Bam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because... It, on the way back, he realizes it. And then... I want him to fall back, and when he opened his eyes, Fauci's just standing over him, like, yeah, fake news, that bitch. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> miscalculate yeah. that, yeah. bitch. Yeah, scientists are, a scientist ain't nothing to yeah, fuck just, with. Science, motherfucker! <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what the wild shit is? He actually is not only dissing Fauci, he's just saying science. Don't listen to science. Science doesn't matter. And all science. this other shit. He's saying crazy shit now, and I think that he's actually having to spiral either into... This is steroids or something. He's just going crazy and crazy. But his, again, he's going to catch up in the polls. You know, fucking spam call just came in. Can, can I hear you? Can, can you hear me? No. Spam. <laughs> Jump back on. Spam yeah. call. I, I can't. I, don't. Yeah, I got you. All right. Pedro's going to jump back in. I keep getting these spam calls. For some reason, the spam calls block some of this stuff. But he'll jump back in, and we'll start up and, and talk about Fauci. Um, is is not you know not having it he actually came on a couple other shows waiting for pedro to jump in he came on a couple of shows and said hey i just think it's really disturbing that this president you know feels this way uh he called him an idiot called him names uh and he said uh, fauci ain't using science okay why don't you uh, discuss that with pedro because uh, uh <laughs> okay waiting for pedro to jump in Yo. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, I can hear you, but it's really low. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? Where the love go? You got to get I mean, another device. I can, I can barely hear you, so. Uh, do you have any... I, but I, but you know what? Um, I'm, I will have that remedy, hopefully, forever. Because I'm going yeah. to use the tablet. There you go. Get that going. So, All right. Um, but yeah, man, this is this is just one. You're really those. low. I could barely hear you. What do you suggest? <laughs> there you, you go. We start then, Shang. Can you hear me? No, now? no, no. I don't have to restart. Oh, you got it. You heard me? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. Yeah, I don't right, have so, to restart. Uh, Fuck it. No, uh, I, this, you know what? No, is, I, I really, I did try to, I, I got downloaded an app pertaining to, you know, spam calls. I'm getting a lot of spam calls lately. And I don't know, um, it's not working. The app didn't work because I, you know, I, I checked it. But aside from that, um, I think that uh, Fauci did, Fauci did come back. Fauci did come back and say something, though. Fauci but, did but, say, no, no, you know. I mean, I get the I get the talk. I get he's a noble man, and you know, you know he, he he's all, he's gonna take the.
it's 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 high time you lay hands on this motherfucker, Fauci. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it is beyond like any any man with any amount of of good blood in his body would have laid hands on the president by now. You know, with all the shit he's talking right. about, Trumpy. Trump. I mean, about Fauci. So, um, to me, when I when I started hearing Trump say all this shit, I'm like, you know what, bro? This this is this is be, this is beyond. The, the the theatrics of politics and all of that shit. This is this is this yeah. man wants to fight me. Like obviously yeah. you yeah. want to fight me. <laughs> if you don't yeah. open your mouth like that to the world about me, that's yeah. But um, you want to you said me. said that Fauci's not using science. Okay, well I don't want Fauci uh, he, using he, science. I, think, I want him I to use. I, I think he's joking. Yeah, I think he wants to. I think Fauci should just use gravity. Gravity of Trump hitting the ground. That's what it should be. It shouldn't be, and that is science, motherfucker. It's just, I feel like it's, it's getting to the point where he's gone so hard. And he's jealous of Fauci's popularity. He's jealous of Fauci actually coming out and correcting himself. Fauci at least has the decency when he didn't know something. He said initially with the mask, and then he said, no, I was wrong. The, the particles do matter. And he, he found it, all the information out because he said this is something new we're dealing with. So I like the fact that Fauci did come out and, and was honest I, and about to be honest, and, and, and I, I, I don't believe Fauci made a mistake. I believe that the, the, what he said about not wearing masks way back when, when he said, I don't think people need to be walking around with masks on. He finished that sentence. That's an incomplete sentence. He wasn't done. He said, unless we start to see community spread. And then like oh, a week okay. later, three days go? later, and, we, saw um, we saw community spread. And then yeah. it's obviously time to wear masks. So he gave the caveat right. and then the caveat caveated. And so when the caveat caveats, then you got to do the caveat. So he's right. You got to caveat with the caveat. A lot of people don't know how to caveat. I once was this one girl. I was trying to caveat with her. And then she was like, I ain't with it. So we stopped caveating. But yeah, um, that's all good. yeah, Yusuf says that they're both telling half truths. I get what you're saying, but I, at the same time, well, how do you I get really what he's believe... saying? How do you get what he's saying? What half truth is? I get what he, I get what he's saying, and how? no, I get what he, I get what he's saying, and I uh, think he's half crazy. That's yeah, what I was going to say. Yeah, I, mean, I get what you're saying because you're you're half crazy and a little half no... nut and a half there's... cookie. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that don't make no sense. There's um, no half. There's no half truth that Dr. I know Trump exactly. Any of, any of this <laughs> no, that's why I was. I, I was going to say, yeah, I agree. I can get what you're saying because you're a little half crazy, a little nutty. But I think that Fauci right now is so more much. He's more trusted by the American public, so he don't got nothing to worry about. Trump has been showing his ass. He's on a steroid high or some shit, and he's lost his fucking mind. Now, I don't know if he's going to lose the election because there are a lot of people that in the polls that won't tell people that they're Trump supporters because they feel like a shame. So there's a lot of Trump supporters on the, on, on the low that will be coming out of the woodwork, especially November 3rd. So um, like uh, Pedro tells, uh, you tell, tell the um, Republicans when they should actually vote. I think that it's best you tell them what date they should actually vote. The, all Republicans that yeah, are listening. Republican voting, Republican voting is uh, from Christmas Eve until January 3rd. Um, so you got plenty of time, guys. I wouldn't even worry about it. I'd just sit back if I were you and just... All right, Ben Yosef, listen. If you're going to be on the fuck Fauci train, nigga, I need you to spell his name right at least. You're saying fuck Fauci. There's, a, there's no L in Fauci, dog. Like, just that, like, do that. I know it sounds... But, but at least the, right. if you're going to diss the man, at least say his name. Like, like God damn. How much yeah, this but it's have? okay. You know what? It's okay because, um, you know, he, he got to get that shit off his chest. I understand. I get, get, he got to get it off his chest. And uh, But end of the day, <laughs> Fauci's going to come off more credible when you look at history by far than anything Trump does. But it would be so much better if Fauci... Did a, had a little tiny trampoline, and then when Trump was doing his thing, he'd jump on the trampoline and double kick him in his fucking side real hard. Like, really, like, kick him in his side where Trump goes, <laughs> and, and he does that little weird dance that Trump likes to do, that little, you know, yeah. dumb dance that's on do. I think Fauci, it would, that would be the best piece of video in the history of the world if Fauci just said, fuck this. 
Fuck Donald Trump. <laughs> if he just went. And, um, as they're taking him away. That's how we roll in the scientific community, bitches. Yes, yes. That would be the best shit in the Science world. motherfucker. Miss Adver be right. Yeah, well, that would be the best actually, shit in the world, man. Miss Adver I would says put it. that as my screensaver. That would, that would be my screensaver. Ms. Adverb says it's been expanded to Valentine's Day. She's talking about uh, voting for uh, yes. the GOP. And actually, uh, to, just to clarify, if you're voting Republican, you have until Valentine's Day to get your absentee ballot in. So again, plenty of time, guys. Don't even trip if you're G uh, GOP. Democrats, you can right. vote today. You should go out today and vote. Democrats, go vote now. Vote now, vote now. Uh, vote so today, vote but, now. Uh, the vote for, uh, I'm answering one of the questions that's on this feed and it's the, the to vote for the republicans the it's extended until valentine's day that's what we were saying yeah, that's all right. yeah but the, the but the way they're acting i mean and this is not necessarily just about this the way they're acting because fauci even if he dumped on trump even if he just said pop, pop, gave him the three piece in the soda um even if he gave him a three piece right now fauci said that he got him and his wife got a speed walk because with security, because there's so many death threats, he got so many death threats, and right now the armed guard, the armed fucking militia, are are terrorists, or are actually back in Michigan, back up in the fucking building. Why are these white people letting these white people act like this? If you, if, that's just wrong. They they already threatened her life. Why are you letting these motherfuckers back up actually, in the building? So with, the, the, with, these are, these aren't white people versus white people. This is this is like the old Chris Rock joke, except a different demographic. These are white people versus crackers, okay? So these Duh. are white white people versus crackers, and the crackers have got to go. All right, we try. I've been trying to tell y'all, like, but this is for white people. It's some shit you got to work out. Like black people, we've been working on niggas, right? Trying to educate niggas, trying to tell niggas pull your pants up, trying to tell niggas to do all kinds of shit the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like we we are, we in here talking to our own community. Like, hey, nigga, <laughs> speak right. Talk right. You know, yeah. nigga, get, go to school. Stay in school. Get a job. Get a skill. Pull um, your pants up. Come on, man, now. Pull your pants up. We got to get rid of the pimps. Pull your pants up. Get it. Come on, now. Pull your pants up. We got to get rid of the pimps, pushes, and the players, and then start all over again clean. Um, exactly. Pimps, and pushes, and players, and pull your pants up. And Come white on, y'all. You pull your pants gotta up. They got to do the same. They got to do the same, white people. They got to do the, the dance. Practice. But the, yeah, no, you're right. It is definitely it is Caucasian versus the crackers. Uh, I think, but the crackers are up two to one right now because the way they're acting, and I don't know how this woman is saying sane, but uh, the governor of Michigan is still thugging it out because these people wanted to kill her. <laughs> well, no, I'm sorry. They she said they wanted to execute me after they tried me in the woods. And yes. this man is still at rallies saying fuck boy shit to get them riled about up to her. do the shit again. About her, yeah. About her. Uh, they, 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 and, they, uh, and, they arrested some other guys who were plotting to kidnap some mayor of some town over... Yeah, the shit's getting wild. Well. And this was a guy, so... They, like we were saying, they, these weren't the only 13 guys set up to do this. Uh, but when Fauci gets death threats... Trumpy Dumpty just makes it more dangerous for him. Um, yeah. And this situation here does the same thing. I mean, you know, and I mean, but, you know, this wasn't just like, oh, he makes mistakes. We, you have audio of Trumpy Dumpty with a bunch of staffers, you know, basically calling him a, a, a what was the word, a disaster. You know what I mean? And, 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 you know, basically an idiot. And I'm like, nah, bro, like, these are fighting words. Like, Last Thursday, I'll give you guys as an example. Thursday, Shang and I did a show. Uh, me and a buddy um, in um, Korea time. Uh, and me, Korea and, time. me and a me and a buddy of mine, we 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 put it on together. Uh, and then afterward, it was it was night was successful, good good old show. And then afterwards, this motherfucker wanted to come out the side of his mouth at me disrespectfully, and I had to put myself on full pause. And, and not right. his head. My, my first thought was, ah, I should touch his chin with my fist as fast as possible. But instead, I grabbed my belongings and left. And I haven't spoken to him since because I've decided to cut out that bullshit energy out of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, man, 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 man,
man to man, if he ever talks to me like that again, I'm gonna smack the shit out of him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, it's understandable. You're you're really low. I don't know if you can hear me, Pedro. You're really low. I I will have this corrected. Everybody here on Savage Earth, I have no idea why the fucking spam keeps coming through. I put apps on it and everything else, but I will not be doing it on here soon. So I want you to know that. So now, now um, I, when I say you got to pick I, and choose your battles, um, what I mean is that I was in Koreatown. My friend is Korean. We were in a Korean bar. So I was at, at the point in which I was ready to bust him in the head. I was the only nigga in there. And then it would have turned into everybody was Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> I didn't want to get in. I was like, da, 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 da. so I, I got the fuck up out of there. But, uh, but yeah, there comes Pedro, a point. Jump back on. Pedro, listen, jump back on. All right. Shit is low. Fucking Cam. Cameron. Yo, Savage AF brought to you better wolf in this lab to the factory. I apologize for the uh oh, I'm doing it again. But it won't it will be remedied. Um where's Pedro at? Waiting for Pedro to jump on. Yeah, I think that the bottom line is Fauci will go down as a, a better look than um, everything that happened pertaining to what Trump said. And what Pedro was saying, uh, certain lines men don't cross. Yo. Yep. We're here. Still low, but fuck it. Let's go. All right, man. Um, or do you so think yeah. we should start over again? Uh, I, you tell me, bro. I, I, know, I know everybody can hear me. And they I can don't hear know you. why it's stuck here. It, it's... Account services, some shit that people want me to buy, um, monkey balls, all kind of shit. Just do not disturb. Everybody's phone has do not disturb, right? Am I nuts? <laughs> Am I crazy? It's got to be a way. I don't understand how you can design websites. Get a new phone. Uh, you said, hey, man, <laughs> yo, check this iPhone. out. And man, right. the phone works fine. I don't know what the fuck. We've had many a show where the shit didn't happen, so shut up. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, God damn. Hey, they, they, they can hear you, and they can hear me. You just can't hear me that well. But right? I can barely hear you. You got to you got, then get your ear close then, or get headphones or something. Work with me. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what. All right. Uh, headphones. Done deal. All there right, cool. Maybe that'll help. Uh, in the meantime, y'all, make sure you keep I am getting here. headphones now. Can I borrow your headphones for one second? Yeah, there you go. Borrow them. Just those are his son's ears, by the way. So it, it's it, don't worry about the earwax thing. It's all good. Yeah. Um, okay. So, look at you. Just said, "Fuck my feelings." You know what, man? You know what? I bought you a gift. I'm not giving it to you now. No yeah. you gift for you. It was a bowl of soup. We'll see how hard uh, Trumpy Dumpty continues to go in on on uh, Fauci, but all of that is distraction stuff, right? From a how poorly he's actually done. Because Fauci doesn't run our response to it, right? He is an advisor to the president. So he, he informs the president of what's going down. And then it's up to the president, or I'm sorry, the impeached president to make the proper decisions based on that advice. Okay? So you can never put it on Fauci like, oh, we did the wrong things because of him. No, no. Okay? He was always telling Trumpy Dumpty the right thing to do. The motherfucker never wanted right. to listen. So he but he to doesn't like Fauci. He, no, but, he does, he's jealous of Fauci. I know. But, so he, want, he wants to distract us. He's, but he does all this to distract us, A, from his poor response. And part of that is this lack of relief that Americans have gotten, right? This lack of um, stimulus. You know, it's run out. They don't want to pay anymore. The GOP doesn't. Well, Nancy Pelosi over the weekend put a clock on it. She said, we got 48 hours to pass some stimulus be, be, a, 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 in order to have enough time to get it out before the election. So that was like yesterday, which means we're less than 24 hours away now from a deadline that Nancy Pelosi has said will be the only point in which they could get stimulus out before right. the election. Right, and did you, hear, did you hear the end of what Nancy Pelosi said? Nancy what Pelosi said? said, you got 48 hours or run those hands. So even Nancy Pelosi is now one to run hands at Everybody that don't want us to get the fucking stimulus. In fact, I was talking to Nancy. I call her Nan Nan. All right, I was calling her yeah. Nan Nan, and Nan Nan told me, "I'm telling you, I'm sick of these motherfuckers not want to give the American public their motherfucking money. So if we don't get this shit in 48 hours, 
I'm gonna run these hands up in the White House. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, son. Hey, they they call her Nan Nan because she don't take Nan shit from Nan motherfucker. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Wait, 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 Nan she, shit she, from she, Nan you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers is acting spinning but lift a dick. You know what I'm saying? Spinning but lift a dick. All words is made up. Fuck y'all. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, that's what it is, y'all. So, um, you know, this is interesting that she's she's put a clock on it like this to, uh, you know, to um, kind of put pressure on the GOP, right? Because they they don't they don't even want to most most senator uh, gov um, GOP senators don't want to put out any money. Mm -hmm. They're like, mm -hmm. fuck it, <laughs> Lord of the Flies, let these motherfuckers figure out themselves. You, right. can, use a you can use a magnifying glass to start fire. Okay, <laughs> it's mang mangoes grow on trees. Go get you some. You know, that, that's how they feel about this shit. They're like, everybody for themselves. Uh, the Democrats want to spend buku bucks. They're like, pull out <laughs> money in the bank, shorty, what you drank. Democrats like, what you want? You need a house? You need a car? You need a loan? You trying to keep your business open? I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Democrats are trying to pay. Um, and they've been able, unable to find a common ground. Um, yo, yo, Pedro, people yeah. are sending the timings off on the fucking feed. Okay. Something's going on with it. The timing's off. Somebody said it sounds echoey. So let's jump off, jump back on real quick. See if it sounds works. Good. Cool. All right. Maybe. Yo, we're going to jump back on. Something's going on with it. I'll make sure I save this one and then we'll do the next one. Back at you with Savage AF. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some technical difficulties that I'm not going to talk about it right now. I will make sure I try to remedy it. Uh, so that said, please, people, jump back on Saturday. Brought to you by the Wolf Tennis Staff Factory. I see you right there. Hopefully, Pedro will jump back on. Uh, again, I have no idea for the technical difficulties why we were off and echoey, but that's what it is. So um, I see people jump back on. We were talking about not only Fauci. I'll give you a recap real quick. We were talking about Fauci. Wait for Pedro to jump back on. Um, and also talking about the fact that you know, we had forty. We had forty-eight hours to get a stimulus package. So we wait and see if that shit comes through because the Democrats and Republicans cannot seem to get their shit together. Um, uh, um, the Democrats are trying their best, but the Republicans are still acting like bitches. So there, there it is. Yo, all right. All right, y'all motherfuckers done got me mad now. I'm talking with a blunt in my mouth, goddammit. Y'all get off my Yeah, mouth. see? Charlie Berry. All right, so, yeah, man, um, this stimulus needs to get passed, right? Like, that That has to happen. Can you hear me? Can you feel me? Yeah, I can hear you completely. Um, <clears throat> so, we're at that point. And meanwhile, your your president is playing this game, right? Uh, name calling with a doctor who doesn't deserve it at all. Right, and well, and, and not only that, he. Meanwhile, his doctor of choice, uh, Scott Atlas, who don't know a goddamn thing about a god, I wouldn't let that nigga put a band aid on my pinky toe. Right, right? <laughs> he's a that hamsterologist. He got he got fucking censored by Twitter of all things for saying masks don't work and trying you know, they, you know talking that masks don't work shit, and it's like, bro, we're beyond that. How could you call yourself any kind of doctor, man? Like, Dr. Dre knows that masks work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. God, Dr. Exactly. It, it's just the dumbest shit in the world. We already know what to do. You froze. It froze. It's the dumbest shit in the world. We already know that. And, you know, it's just the nature of the beast right now. Yo, man, the fucking thing froze again. God damn it. Tough Monday, really tough Monday, because I know, damn, damn, damn. Uh-oh, Miss Adverb, uh, back in the building, M Mackenzie, Belda. Uh, Pedro, can you hear me? I can hear you. For a minute there, you dropped out. The, uh, uh, J JR underscore NYC said, Pedro's feed needs a stimulus. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm uh, I'm on the road right now, guys. I'm in the back of the house, so it gets a little uh, choppy back here. But don't worry, it gets a little choppy. Uh, uh, they, and he doesn't. 
Okay, one, uh, Pedro doesn't look creepy and frozen. Stop it. Yo, Savage AF brought to you by the World Famous Lab Factory. We want to let you know, make sure that you subscribe um, and to the, uh, the podcast, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and I'll pin it back up over here. But, no, I, I think that if we get the stimulus, it's going to be the Republicans got to come to a fucking uh, agreement, you know. And, by the way, uh, you, you, you know, <laughs> It is is thick and chunky. The the uh, the feed is thick and chunky, but it is it is here. That's how I like my. Can you hear? You, yeah, you jump. Yeah, it's all good. I, yeah. I have no choice. That's all we can do. All right. So um, I, I just don't get this Republican. Oh. Can we, you got me? You with me? Yeah. Nope. Ain't nobody with me. Yeah, I, I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, we gonna get through this show today. I mean, this is a weird one of the weirder days because the shit keeps crackling up, and then Pedro dropped out, and then my shit kept getting um, spam calls. So, all right, we wait. Pedro is moto moto. Dun, 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 moto moto. Yo, um, Pedro is still making sense. Uh, okay, yo. <laughs> All right. Uh, the bottom line is what we're trying to tell you while I'm waiting for Pedro to jump back on, and he will jump back on, is that if we do get the stimulus, it's going to have to be right before election. But if that, it probably will not reach before election because the, the what they gave us, that time frame they gave us, which is fucked up. Then, you know, a lot of people that aren't in a position financially do need the stimulus. And a lot of people, and I think it is, uh, Kay Fields, I think it is the fucking government blocking us today. It's blocking Pedro, blocking me. No, fuck around. I hope not. There he is. Uh, let's see if I could get him back in here. And uh, but no, it, it's been it's been a situation where they don't realize regular people, not the top one percent, need that need that money. There you go. Hey. Yeah, um, you dropped yeah. out. Well, that yeah, that's what I'm saying. A, a lot of people do need that money, and I, that's why I don't understand that GOP stance at all like a lot of their people need money a lot of trump supporters need it whether they want to admit it or not like, i just won't go back to work it's like well it's not really safe to do that you should probably take this money from the government and shut the fuck up and stay home right and plus but, right now i saw a, 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 i saw a message in feed that canada is doing the second shutdown and also, I think that because the winter is coming, we're going to have another shutdown. So the shit going to get wild. And we're going to be trapped in the house. And there's going to be a lot of people, uh, you think about murdering their neighbors and murdering their kids. And it's going to be a tough time, but we got to tough through it. But with the little bit of loot, the $1,200, or even if they cut it a little shorter, because that's what the Republicans want to do. I think they want to cut it to 600 Um I still think that helps people. So I don't understand why the motherfuckers don't want to do it other than they got bitch-like qualities. And I hope they get sucker punched by that bus driver from Cleveland. That's what I hope. You know, you want to act like the government? I'm going to treat you like the government. And just fucking punch them right in their face. That's what I think needs to be done. Nothing wrong with that. We got somebody from, the, uh, from London popped in. What's up, UK? Thank y'all for jumping on. Tally ho, tally ho. And uh, pardon me if I ignore the uh, comment section right now. I am uh, driving, guys. Um, oh, okay, but, uh, and and Italy is shutting back down. There's a lot of sh uh, shutdowns that's happening. And really, I think people don't realize the top 1%, this, ain't, this is nothing for them. It's like even the top 20% is probably like, yeah, whatever, fucking shut down. I got the money to fucking manage. But if you're on that bottom percentage... You need that motherfucking money. That could be rent for a month or that could be a car payment for three months or whatever. I don't understand why people did I didn't get mine because I had some other technical difficulties, but I got some other shit popping off because I sold a lot of fucking, uh, you know, midget hookers. So, but that's different. That's different. I had about 30 in my you know, truck. Yeah. Ain't no half pimping. So I had, to, I had to make sure that that was done. But right now, I think the end of the day is... Uh, I like the fact Pelosi's thugging it out, even though she's looked like she about to fall apart and she was in the pet cemetery way too many times and they buried her, brought her back, buried her, brought her back. But she came back with the same attitude like it's about the people. It's not about you, Trump, you narcissist cunt. I never heard him her say that, but that'd be dope. 
You know what would be the best thing ever, Pedro? Mm. Fauci drops Trump with a fucking overhand right, and Pelosi drops um, bitch McConnell with an uppercut and then an elbow to the top of the head. Yeah. Come on, man. Gets him right off his feet. Like yeah, that. that's a screensaver. That's a screensaver right there. That's my new shit. I wish it was. I'd All love right. to see that. So speaking speaking of getting knocked the fuck out. There you uh, go. Segue. While you driving, we are, AF. Thug. we are Savage AF. We will knock your ass out right here on this show with this information. Um, what you been jiggling? Uh, <laughs> what you been jiggling? GOP, GOP uh, Senator Josh Howley from Missouri or uh, Missouri, if you ain't got no teeth. Missouri. It's no. Missouri. <laughs> If you if you if you're missing some tooth, Missouri, um, he's the first GOP senator to call for the breakup. Uh, Speaking of breakup, after the election, Pedro just broke up. It really is a just a, a it really you is broke just up. a garbage you broke hole. Up. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we just I'm moving on. It's a garbage hole, trash, fuck, nut bucket, Russian. Hack space. There's nothing valuable on Facebook at all. All right. You can FaceTime. I mean, you can yeah, FaceTime or Zoom with your grandma at this point. If you need to keep up with Aunt Sue or you know Fannie Mae or whoever the fuck. It, it, but for people trying to get information, knowledge, uh, articles, news from Facebook, it's a it's a garbage space. In these past in the you know in the past election cycle uh, presidential election, we saw that. It, it 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 served as a negative influential space on the outcome of our election. Agreed, agreed. I think that it is a negative space, and it is something that the basically the people they're using. Uh, uh, I, I, it froze again. Today has been savage, savagely uh, technical difficulties. Savage, savage. Yo, I think I'm back. Yep. There we go. Yeah, you're, you're, you're back. Right okay. Say what you were saying because it flat out was in Max Hayroom. Yeah, sorry. Um, so I'm just happy to see that somebody is calling for the end of Facebook because it really has just become this space of fuckheads spewing a bunch of hate and bullshit, no information, memes and all other kind of bullshit and graphics that don't mean a fucking thing. And everybody wants to sit on there and act like they know something when they see it on Facebook. And I honestly... Although I was calling for a, a boycott until the end of the election, I, I have no problems with them breaking up Facebook and being like, fuck this shit. It, and Zuckerberg made his money. He, it ain't going to hurt him. And like, there are plenty of ways to communicate with your family at this point that, that Russian bots can't invade with their bullshit. You know what I mean? Right. So, well, uh, yeah. let what, me what, counter what that. Is, what right. is the point? What, I guess, what is the point of Facebook at this point? Like, what, what okay, is I'll tell you. I t I'll tell you what my counter is. I agree with you. It's a lot of misinformation, and, and basically they're doing it that way. But also, from an entertainment standpoint of view, I have reached a, 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 a very good amount of fans through the Facebook platform. So from that standpoint, I go, okay, because there's people I would have never met before. There's no other way to get at them. My space is a wrap. Everything else is wrapped. So for me, I use it from a standpoint of just, you know, promotion, let them know about shows and, you know, information pertaining to the entertainment that I'm doing. So for me, I understand part of me is like, yo, this is so much bullshit, so much Russian fucking um, trolls. But at the same time, I'm not really reaching out to that aspect of it. I'm reaching out to the aspect of it, trying to get at the people that want to come to shows, when we get back to doing shows, and people that want to, you know, know about what's popping with the different things in the comedy community. So I'm focused mostly on that. I don't really pay yeah, attention that, to Okay, but both to times. be honest, that's not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm of that 
I'm in the entertainment industry too, so I, I get that. But when we're talking about that versus the influencing of a goddamn United States presidential election, I gotta say, reaching out okay, to our yeah, fans yeah. on that platform isn't important. It's just simply not important. Like there are other platforms, there are other ways we can reach out to our fans. Like we can't, we don't need Facebook if Facebook is also going to be a space where foreign entities can influence our elections. You know what I'm saying? Like our fan bases or fan pages aren't that important. Like not that important. Oh no, they're not as important. No, they're not as important. I, that's why I said I, 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 I'm, I'm. I'm torn both sides. I wish that there, I, if I knew another way to get at some of these people that I've got at, I would do it. That's all. I don't. If there's another platform, somebody tell me in the few tell me about it that reaches that many people and have reached as many people as I've reached on on Facebook. But it, it, at the end of the day, is no. Of course, end of the day, it's not as important. It's just not. But I my my attitude is like more like damn, you know. So I'm le so I just lose uh, uh, access to eighty seven thousand motherfuckers, and that's a lot of people to lose access to in this business that is based on partly social media. It's just yeah. I mean, but I get it. I mean, I get it, and I don't. And it also, you know, people use it. If you look at the positive side of it, which is not as much, when you look at what happened in Egypt, where they used that platform to organize and get changes made. Like, yeah, that part I like, but mostly it's the favor Trump. I mean, it's the, 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 the bots to favor Trump and a lot of dirty bullshit, you know. So, yeah, maybe Twitch. I need, we need to fuck with Twitch. Uh, Kane, Kane Garland, Garlene uh, said, underscore Garlene said Twitch. And I can't hardly see it because we've been having technical difficulties with the shit. He's driving so he can't see it and, and this shit is acting funny style. But that happens sometime with technology. But the other thing is Instagram is owned by Facebook. So I'm sure if Facebook goes down, Instagram goes down. I mean, it's, it's whatever. I, I, I'm not sure I'm not sure about that. I, they it owns it but they, they are separate entities in terms of operation. Um, right. And, and you don't see as much Instagram, political yeah, Instagram yeah. isn't isn't being used by hackers in in the same way that it is. Agreed. By, Agreed. By um, that Facebook is used, is used. So, um, you know, and it, it, this is the thing. It's like this isn't an attack on social media, right? Right. Like this is like, you know, there's still Twitter, which you know has gotten better. They they started to check Donald Trump and they checked his doctor Scott Atlas um, recently about misinformation. Right. Um, but I, I'm just, you know, so it's not an attack on social media in general, right? Nobody's saying, like, take away all social media. It constantly, consciously, one says not yet. But, I mean, social media definitely needs to be examined, right? You got motherfuckers getting depressed because they're not getting enough likes or not enough comments on the thing uh, yeah, they posted. Yeah. People faking their whole lives, you know, taking pictures in front of cars that aren't theirs. Um posting pictures from three vacations ago like they just live on a boat like you know what i mean like the right. whole no, no, I agree. needs to be examined anyway right you know but photoshopping a bigger that. dick onto their dick i mean you know who hasn't that's done that crossing a line that's crossing a line yeah you know i'm sorry i mean who hasn't done that i mean come on who hasn't, you know. but no I, feel, I i know what you're saying but i think that it does make but it's on all social media platforms, there's younger people that get depressed because I didn't get enough likes. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not this enough. I'm not as pretty as that girl. This girl looks really pretty, not realizing she was Photoshopped or taken at such an angle that she looks really sexy and pretty. Then you meet her in person, straight salamander, salamander, same with, with all of with everything. So I know what you're saying. It's just that I, I'm, I'm being absolutely positively selfish. Um, I'm being selfish. I get it. Yeah. No. But it wouldn't just be you, right? And the thing is, another platform would pop up. You know what I mean? And, and you know, part of the examination of social media as a space is that it becomes really easy for people to just become trolls, bullies, um, assholes. You know, it's like the shit they wouldn't say in your face in the streets, they get, but that still gets at people, right? That still brings people stress and depression and, right. you know, sadness. So, 
it, it is a, a place, while we have free speech and all that, I've always said that, you know, you can say what you want to, but it might cost you something, right? So it all, in that sense, not all speech is free, right? So um, that being said, it is a space that needs to be policed. And it, it's good to see, to be honest, that the Senate, especially some GOPers, are now talking about not just policing uh, Facebook, but uh, disbanding it or speaking of policing, defunding it, right? Like just taking it off the map because they have been. Zuckerberg has been. Uh, irresponsible with it. They knew what was going on in 2016 during that election and cycle, up with it. yeah, and still and let it go and didn't did, have done very little until very very lately once they'd been scrutinized to regulate that stuff, knowing what's right and wrong. And you know why they did it? Because it's the most engaging stuff. It's toxic, like alcohol, like a lot of drugs. They are toxic, right. and they want to keep are, you on they there. Are as long as they are right. addictive, though, and people want that high. So, uh, Facebook was a pusher, right? They they were in the alley. That nigga in the alley. Hey, I got what you need. <laughs> hey, you hate black? Yeah, people. no. They, I why. saw a documentary on hey, on Netflix. Hey, immigrants, immigrants getting on you. They taking over your town, man. Here's an article, man. Get high on hate. You know what I'm saying? So. They, they've been this big-ass toxic drug dealer of non-information. And, yeah, why why let that slide anymore? Like, fuck it. Get them out of town, bro. You know? Either that or, re or, or restructure it to the point where uh, it absolutely is not allowed. But I doubt it. They're, nobody's that noble and nobody's going to do it. And they get too much money from outside entities to even think about that. They don't give a fuck. But ultimately, everybody... Everybody, you know, out there knows that without Facebook, they'd be able to get along. It's just that it's just another tool. I, I saw it as another tool, but it is so bad now. It's so convoluted with so much trash that now maybe it's just trash. It, 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 it's trash. I, and I've been saying it for a while. It's why I don't really fuck with it anymore. I link my IG to it. So whatever I post on here goes there. And, you know, yeah, I get it. They're, they're in the same uh, network of companies um, and owned by Facebook. But um, Instagram operates differently and in a better way for me. Um, but it's still the space that you have to look out for. And all social media platforms do. I mean, look, the president lies on Twitter every time he tweets. I don't think that motherfucker said one true thing on Twitter, dog. <laughs> Like, right, I, uh, and, and, and Twitter, and Twitter it, hasn't right. dropped him off, but somebody at a lower level, because they like that interaction and keeping people on there for long periods of time, and making sure that that they can, you know, you know, systematically, you know, take their brain out of their forehead and and keep it. Right now, I mean, I'll get I'll get ads that I didn't even ask for. I didn't ask for an ad about. I'll type in shoe, and all of a sudden I'm getting all these shoe ads. I know it. And I watched a documentary about Facebook and about social media, and it is a drug. It flat out's a drug, flat out for a lot of people, including us. We're, we are somewhat drug addicts to it. But, and even your value as a comic, there's people that feel like, well, if you don't have enough followers, you're not a funny comic. That don't got shit to do with my funny. Nothing. But... But according to the, the masses, because of the bullshit, you're like, there's motherfuckers that's headlining comedy clubs and not funny at all. Don't but do comedy. Don't do comedy, but they got a lot of fucking followers because they, again, I, I mean, YouTube's the same. YouTube, there's some motherfuckers on, I told you that. There was a dude that stuck his finger in a cat's ass. He got 700,000 fucking subscribers within a day. And like millions of views until the, you know, the people who go, you can't do that to fucking animals, made him take it down. But by that time, he already got all those subscribers, got signed to William Morris, not really a comic, end up headlining comedy clubs. Until he started bombing so much, people wanted their money back and then it fizzled. But still, he got that shot because of that. He literally stuck his finger in the cat's ass. Cats flipped the fuck out. Tried to scratch him. He throws the cat down, and that was the whole video. And people shared it, and he became a star from it. So I understand the bad side of it because I hate it every day. But you know, I've I've 
linked up and got access to some things that I wouldn't have without it. So right now, I just want every – oh, shut up. People yeah, have commented. Now, no, no. now I can see the comments. I couldn't see the comments before. Something, yeah, someone's acting weird with the, with the, not with, because I can see you. It's just something was going on with that. But aside from that, Sam JF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Make sure you subscribe and to the podcast on iTunes, Citrus, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. And make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Follow at Black Pedro, goddammit. Follow, 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 and follow. Follow at, at Comedian Shang. Also follow at Savage AF Radio. At you know what? At Savage AF Radio. Oh, somebody said a cat's ass was he white? Uh, JR underscore NYC. Yes, he was a white guy. And yes, he did get signed. He got signed to CAA, which actually, for the people that don't know CAA, it's huge. It's, I think, is it number one? Yeah, they're the biggest. It is the biggest? I wasn't sure if it was William Morris or CAA um, or one of one of those. It's a big boy. And it's the big boy. And they signed him because they thought, oh, well, you know, he's a good looking kid. Maybe we can uh, have him do something. Look, he had 700,000 followers and the followers are growing because he sticks his finger in the cat's ass. I mean, think about that. And, I, and it's not a joke. It sounds like a joke. Like, yeah, then he stuck his finger in the cat's ass. No, he really did that. And it wasn't like the cat liked it. It wasn't like the cat went, oh, yeah, baby. No, it was like, motherfucker, ow. And, and he got famous for a second. You know, Pedro, I suggest we don't do that. That's all. I, I, keep, my, I keep my fingers uh, free of cat assholes and, yes. and most other animals assholes. Uh, yeah, I try, to, I try to avoid any kind of animal assholes with my finger. I just, just... That's just me. That's just That's me. A general rule of thumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I saw that coming and I couldn't stop it. Hey, I tried to stop you. Hey, hey. So Savage AF, y'all. I'm, I'm, if you didn't know, I, I was driving because I got to get to work uh, early. Yeah, today. yeah. Get, to get get in there today. So, so but but uh, tomorrow, but tomorrow will be on 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. All of the technical difficulties will be taken care of. Hopefully, if I've worked this out with doing it, either I'm going to do it on my computer. I'm going to, you know, do it through the computer and then no phone calls, nothing, no dropouts or no shit like that. So we're working on that, getting it together. And we want you to know that we will be um, making sure that we have more content. Pedro pop-ups or pop-ins uh, will be on the YouTube channel and other things. And we appreciate y'all subscribing. Everybody did subscribe. But we need 93 million more subscribers. Oh, was it was, was it 93 million? That's it. That was it. It was 93. So we need 93 million. So we will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Savage AF, we appreciate y'all. Man, be safe out there. Don't let the yeah. Trump supporters drive you crazy, man. And don't let I no people disrespect you, right? Don't let them disrespect you. Don't you ever fucking. All right, man, don't you I'm ever disrespect me. All right. Y'all. Yeah. Right. Yo, we apologize for all the pausing and technical difficulties today. I have no idea what it was, was, but sometimes it, you know, technology fucks up. And then, you know what happened? Technology fucks up, takes over the world, sends a fucking robot back in the past to kill you before you're born. So, it happens. I'm out. See you tomorrow.